Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we are from Group 2 are going to present about distillation. And my name is Muhammad Ibrahim Bumbu Asri and I am going to explain about introduction of distillation. Hi, my name is Jason and I will take part in the basic principle of distillation. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Shafiq Adli and I'll be taking the part. How does it operate? Hi, my name is Ismahani and I will talk about the purpose of distillation. Hello everyone, I'm Yongchen and I'll be talking about the mechanism of distillation. My name is Adira Shafika Viti Azman and I will be presenting on the type of distillation. Hello, my name is Amjad. In the video presentation, I will explain about type of distillation column. Distillation can be defined as a process of separating mixtures based on the differences in their volatilities in a boiling liquid mixture. In addition, the components in a sample mixture are vaporized by heat and then immediately cooled by the cold water in a condenser. For your information, since ancient time, separation and distillation is one of the oldest and most commonly method has been used and it is believed to have been used to make a perfumes. Moreover, in this modern era, many industries use distillation methods such as oil refining, water purification and alcoholic beverages. Now let us talk about the basic principle of distillation. Generally, distillation is widely used for separating mixtures based on the difference in condition required. For instance, simple distillation can be used when a liquid mixture has a significant difference in boiling point. Now, let us talk about a simple daily example of simple distillation. When we heat the water to its boiling point, it will produce water vapor. Then the water vapor has been placed in a condensing column and the vapor will flow and form water again. In simple words, the basic principle for the simple distillation is changing liquid to the gas phase, the gas phase condensed and changing to liquid again. Now we have seen how distillation column works, let's see how it operates. A little bit of info, each materials that the company want to produce has a specific boiling points. So boiling points is the scientific research scientists have done in order for it to have its peak temperature before it's turned into another element. So in industrial, the process is faster if we could heat the material depends on the temperature we want. And also the materials cannot exceed their maximum temperature or else it will be damaged. And there's a plenty of various techniques that were introduced. And uh, this technique are mostly aimed towards atmospheric pressure and the temperature. A little bit of reference. Um, let's say if the company want to extract pentanol, they need to heat the materials before 137.5 degrees Celsius. Next is the purpose of distillation. The purpose of distillation is to purify compounds in solution or to separate mixtures in solute. For example, different compounds have different boiling point. This property means more volatile compound will evaporate at a lower temperature than a less volatile compound. So, how the distillation work? Basically, how distillation works is when feed material such as liquid enters the distillation apparatus and then it will separate into two streams which is vapor stream at the top and the liquid stream at the bottom while being heated. Alright, so I'll be talking about the mechanism of distillation. This is a schematic diagram of the distillation column commonly used in the industry. Upon being heated, the vapor moves upwards in the column and comes out from the top. 
This vapor will always move upwards since hot air is less dense than cool air. When the hot air moves upwards, it will go through a part named a condenser, where the heated vapor condenses into liquid form and then passes it to a vessel for storage vapor. At this moment, these condensed vapors are known as distillate. Some of these distillates are also known as condensate, will be introduced once again from the top for further distillation. This process, known as reflux, has the target of further removing any impurities from the distillate before. In other words, the more time distillation is being conducted, the purer product we will be obtaining. Next, I will present on types of distillation. There are a few types of distillation that exist in our industry. First and foremost, simple distillation is used when the boiling points of two liquids are very different from each other. The mixture of two liquids is heated to vaporize the volatile liquid component. Then, the vapor will pass into the condenser for the cooling process. Simple distillation is usually used in both large and small scale alcohol industries where the process can improve the concentration of alcohol to obtain full grade alcohol. This is the example of distillation of alcohol. The second type of distillation is vacuum distillation. It is used when we have very high boiling points or the components are explosive. The process is similar to simple distillation but it needs to lower the pressure in the distillation column because lowering the pressure will lower the boiling points of components. This method is useful when the boiling points exceed the decomposition temperature of a compound. Beverage and food production sectors usually apply this distillation to extract plant essences and oil refineries to separate long chain hydrocarbons. Hello everyone, here I am going to talk about two types of distillation column, fractional distillation column and steam distillation column. So, steam distillation is the process of separating organic compounds or volatile organic compounds from water or water-based process. We can understand this definition from laboratory chemical. So, the application of steam distillation, we can see petrochemical refinery, water purification company and production of lemon gas and also Petronas, ExxonMobil, palm oil they are using this distillation. So here another type of distillation is fractional distillation. It is the process by which oil refineries separate crude oil into different more useful hydrocarbon products based on their relative molecular weight in a distillation tower. It is also something like oil refinery. So similar like steam distillation, fractional distillation also using for chemical industry, oil refinery and natural gas from Petronas. So we can say that this two type of distillation is very good for impact for plant design in chemical engineering. Moving on, let's look into the advantages of distillation. Firstly, distillation helps in producing high purity products. For instance, distillation can separate the volatile or less volatile material when the mixture has different boiling points. Hence, the mixture can separate into individual components and increase the purity of the products. 